So hi guys, welcome back to Marathon CrossFit. What we're gonna do today is we are going to review the Rogue Dip Belt. So um, I hope you enjoy it and uh, we'll jump right into it. So here you see the dip belt in all its glory and uh, with a rogue emblem in the middle. So the chain actually comes delivered with the purchase. So you don't need to get a chain itself. And you see here the rings where you hook the chain up to. You also see the emblem of rogue and uh, th then the ring on the other side. Now, how do you hook them up? You have here these little hooks to actually hook up onto the rings on each side um, and you just basically clip them on and I'll just demonstrate that for you shortly um, how to actually do that. So that is that for the belt itself. Now how to put it on yourself. So what I like to do is first hook it in and also actually have the little thing actually pointing inwards rather than outwards. And I come to that a bit later why that is important and will help you to put it on the right way. So then wrap it around yourself, you know, also there, keep the one inside like the, the, the lace um, for it. Um, also push it onto the ring. And by this time, you also already would have the plates on there, okay? So otherwise, it would be a bit pointless to have the belt. Now, what I do see sometimes is that people go f without actually tightening the belt like this um, and go just, you know, go bonkers with, uh, with their weight. So please tighten it like that and uh, then you won't have any problems. And this is also why we kept it inwards. So now that you've seen the belt and also how to put it on, maybe a few words on the belt itself. Um, I mean, it already is varying off uh, some of the color, so that is not where I'm actually that happy with. It's actually, I think, one of the lowest quality products that I've gotten from Rogue. Sorry to say, guys, um, but it does the trick. Like it's, you know, it's still in working order. Still though, I mean, um, a dip belt, you know, um, comes in and around, I think, 80 to 90 quid. Also check out my blog post that I've linked below for details on that and where to buy it. The thing is this, if you are considering the purchase of a dip belt, maybe also consider to buy a vest instead. Now, why am I saying that? Because it depends on your needs. I think a vest and a dip belt do the same thing, more or less, while a vest will provide you with more mobility. So if you are a crossfitter um, uh, or just beginning with um, your weight training, um, you might be better off actually buying a vest rather than a dip belt. Now, of course, if you're already um, um, a highly developed and advanced weightlifter who just needs to hang a shitload of weight um, down uh, from the dip belt and also for the pull-ups, then usually the dip belt is the cheaper option to actually get, let's say, a 50, 60k, 70, 80 kg, maybe even plus uh, to weigh you down when you do your dip belt, uh, when you do, do your dips or your pull-ups. Because the problem with the vests is if you want to scale the weight, you only can use those special little things that you put into the pouches of the vest. And, you know, you basically can't use them for anything else and they get rather pricey. So, you know, if you wanted to do pull-ups with 100 kgs, I think the dip belt is the easier option and the cheaper option than the vest but of course it doesn't provide you with as, as much mobility um, and as much flexibility when you want to do a bit of agile work also most gyms already have a dip belt you know in my case my local gym didn't have a dip belt so i had to buy one so you know why buy one if your uh, local gym already has one you know then add a vest into the mix so overall you know a vest might be the better investment. However, the Rogue Dip Belt does the trick and I showed you how to put it on and I hope that helped. Please subscribe if you like the content and come back and tell your friends, you know, um, there will be more reviews of equipment. There will be also more reviews of uh, weightlifting and of um, all the things around crossfitting and how to keep yourself fit. So thanks, have a nice day and see you soon. Bye bye.